Welcome back to P2 Arrow and the S21 project. Today, the mission is to rip up this brand new GGB Trail Sidewinder muffler and make it work for my application. I gotta admit, it was hard at first to mess up brand new parts, but it does get easier every time I do it. I started by chopping off the factory outlet and later I'll fill in this hole, but I needed a straight through flow out the end. Once I had all that ready, I mocked it up in place and marked for the O2 bung and the angle that I wanted my outlet flange to mount. I'm going to preface this whole video with this one statement. I'm not a professional welder by any means. I'm capable of sticking two like metals together with a torch and that's about it, so take it easy on me. I limit myself to less than critical applications that wouldn't lead to a death spin towards the earth if it were to fail. Otherwise, I seek wise, capable hands to do the work as you've all seen me do in previous videos. I looked at all the aftermarket options out there for snowmobiles that come with this engine in it. I settled on this one for its weight savings over a stock setup, but still retaining only a modest decibel gain over the factory machine. None of the units could work straight out of the box, so I knew that I was going to have to modify things as I went. The last thing I wanted was to make an airplane that annoyed anyone within 20 miles of me when I started it up. Sure, I'm not grasping every last bit of horsepower I could if I just ran a straight pipe, but I'm not building a stole drag machine here. It's got to be practical and not sound like a rice burner Honda with a fart can on the back. I figured having the ability to switch out tips would be useful as I fine tune this once I get things running. For now, I'm going to be running a cheap little resonator as my tip just to help take any last little bit of Tokyo Drift out of that exhaust tone, but if that doesn't work, I'll be able to easily change things up. So I'm going to get on with it here while you guys enjoy a bit of guitar picking in the background. So I know I'll hear about it from at least one of you guys in the comments section. I know that a butt joint here is probably less than ideal. It is what it is. So I made sure to get good penetration and even allow the puddle to sink a bit, ensuring that I've left plenty of strength in behind the joint since I'd be grinding off the outside flush. I have my concerns on the integrity of this joint, but it'll be an easy one to keep an eye on. Overall, I think that it looks pretty cool. I still have that big hole to fill on the side of the muffler, as well as finishing up some mounts for all this, but it's a good step towards a functioning setup. Let me know what you think in the comments below, and I'll see you guys all on the next one. 